In this video, we're going to talk about how to format your paper in MLA style. In future videos, we'll talk about how to use in-text citation and Works Cited page, but this video is strictly about just setting your document up in MLA format. And so what I have here on the screen is an example of a document in MLA format. So you see in the left-hand corner, you put your name followed by your professor's name. So in this class, it's Professor Garner. Then the name of the course following and then the date. You see that the date is in this British format where they put the day and the month and the year. I'm not particularly picky about this. If my students put the date in, you know, the way we do it here more in America with the month, the day, the year, I'm not too picky about that, but you may encounter on your college journey other professors who are. So it's good to just get in the habit of doing it in this way, day, month, year. In the left-hand corner, you'll have your last name followed by the page number. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. Then when it's time to start your essay or whatever document you're doing, you'll put a title on it. You see it's centered here. And then all your paragraphs should be indented, right? So imagine this is a full length paragraph. So you indent a paragraph. When you start a new paragraph, again, you'll indent it. The MLA style says that you should use Times New Roman 12 point font and make sure that everything is double spaced. Sometimes students don't know how to do that either in Google or Word, so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you on this blank document. All right, the first thing we wanna do is make sure we have that page number in the top right corner. So I'm gonna to go to the insert menu. This is on a Google Doc, an insert, and you'll see down here it says page numbers and the picture of them being in the right hand corner. So that's what I want. I'll type my name right in front of the page number and then that will appear on every page. I'm gonna change the font of this because I like everything to match and I know I'm gonna do everything else in Times New Roman. Okay, so this will automatically paginate for you. That means when we go to page two, it'll say Garner two, Garner three, and so on. That's why you wanna use the header function and the page number so that it automatically changes the numbers for you. To get back to the regular text, I can just click down here. Then this is where you'll put, ooh, bad typing where you put your name, your professor's name, the class, and the date. All right, so you see it automatically is doing this in Arial 11 point and single spaced. So I'm gonna change it to Times New Roman. I want it 12 point. And this button over here is where you change the spacing, the arrow that goes both up and down. And I wanna change that to double spacing. All right, the next thing I would do is have my title centered, and now I'm ready to start my essay. So I'm gonna tab over and start my essay. All right, so that's the way that you um, do the formatting. In Microsoft Word, it's pretty similar. Here's a Word document. Um, you're going to go, oh, my recording thing is in the way. I'm gonna move that out of the way. You're gonna go again to the Insert menu insert menu, and here you're gonna go over to the page. You want it at the top of the page, and on the right side, just like that, same thing, I'm gonna put my name. I wanna change the font. This one defaults to Calibre. Oh, I gotta go way down to get Times New Roman because they're in alphabetical order. And Times New Roman, 12 point. Okay, same as with Google Docs, if I click here, then you can put your name, professor's name, everything formatted, everything else is the same, and that if you wanna change the font here and changing it to double space right here. I think that's it. Good luck formatting your papers in MLA style.